Another big story, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Russian President Vladimir Putin will dedicate Kundan Kulam nuclear power project's first unit to the country today. Both leaders along with Tamil Nadu Chief Minister J.J. Lalita will take part uh, via video conference in the ceremony. India and Russia have been cooperating in the nuclear energy sphere for many years. The first unit of the Indian nuclear power plant is already in service. It was connected to the southern grid and the operation of the first 1000 megawatt unit at Kundan Kulam nuclear power project has started from midnight of the December 31st, 2014, generating 1000 megawatt. India's atomic power plant operator Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited is setting up two 1,000 megawatt Russian reactors at Kundankulam village in uh, Terunil Valley district in Tamil Nadu. Philip Matthews, our correspondent, joins us from Kundankulam for more and our correspondent Arun Sharma also joins us from uh, New Delhi. Uh, Philip, uh, morning, let me come to you first. In terms of the salient features of this uh, uh, plant, how significant would you say, considering the fact that the way India has been collaborating for a very long time with Russia in the nuclear sphere, do you think this is going to add another very robust component to that particular relationship uh, between India and Russia? Absolutely, Sakal. In fact, uh, as you rightly mentioned, uh, Russia has been a long-standing partner uh, as far as India is concerned in the field of nuclear energy. Don't forget that even when the nuclear suppliers group uh, you know, w was uh, had uh, issued sanctions against India after the Pokhran 1 test. It was Russia that stood by India and, uh, you know, decided to go ahead with the construction of the Kudunglam uh, Unit 1. And uh, thanks to those efforts, we now see the Unit 1 is all ready to be dedicated to the nation today. So clearly a very important milestone as far as uh, the uh, atomic energy scenario in, in the country is concerned. Kudunglam 1, as you mentioned, uh, generates around 1,000 megawatts of output. In fact, it, it is the uh, uh, reactor that provides the single largest amount of output as far as nuclear energy is concerned in the country. So clearly it's a, it's a major uh, milestone as far as uh, Kutunglam is concerned and as far as the country's nuclear energy scenario is concerned. Okay, uh, Philip, you stay there. Uh, meanwhile, Arun, if you could tell us more in the, t in the sense, uh, in terms of empowering our country in the energy sphere, fulfilling the energy requirement of the, na uh, of, of the nation, uh, how significant is this going to be? Uh, overall perspective from energy sector, Arun. Well, talking about the energy sector, uh, uh, India is an emerging economy cycle, we all know that. And according to our COP21 agreement that, is, that happened in Paris, uh, which we also call it Paris Climate Change Agreement, India is now supposed to cut down on the carbon emission part as well. But we can't also compromise as far as our growing, because our growing uh, aspirations are more, we have to grow more. Uh, so that is the reason we, are, we, are, we have to generate more electricity. Power Minister Piyush Gul has already said that we need more electricity, we need to generate more electricity in order to provide 24 into 7 electricity to each and every household. In that context, looking at the Paris Climate Change Agreement and looking at our growing demand, Nuclear energy is the next uh, big focus for uh, economy like India. Because as of now, talking about the, uh, the nuclear energy, there are 21 reactors in our country and six are under construction. And today, Prime Minister Narendra Modi from South Bloc uh, and uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin uh, from Russia would be uh, dedicating this new, uh, Kudankulam Unit 1 to India. Now, we all know that this Kudankulam Unit 1 is already commercialized it's all, and it's connected to Southern Grid. Now, Piyush Goel, the power minister, has also uh, talked about one nation and one grid. So once uh, these nuclear reactors are connected towards a grid, the government is also working on, uh, uh, on basically making one nation and one grid. And once that happens, the electricity from nuclear part can be supplied and uh, can be provided to all the parts of our country. So that's an important part and that will play an important role as far as producing clean energy, green energy and also the cost efficient energy. Now talking about the technology, uh, Russia is already committed to develop uh, uh, 12 more nuclear re uh, units as far as uh, in next 20 years as far as nuclear reactors are concerned. But yes, of course, the, play, the location would not be Kudankulam. The locations are being negotiated as of now at, at a very early stage. But the kind of technology which Russia has transferred in Unit 1 and Unit 2, as of now, we were dependent on Russia as far as uh, the technology is concerned for build this nuclear infrastructure. Hmm. But uh, as I talked to the many of the scientists in Kudankulam, they are telling me that for Unit 3rd and Unit 4, it is very likely that Prime Minister can officially announce the commencement of this uh, Unit 3rd and Unit 4th. And also, uh, 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 the scientists are very much confident and self reliant that they can develop the infrastructure on their own. So Russia played an important role as far as transferring the technology is concerned and uh, now India is also self-reliant, independent as far right. as uh, uh, constructing its own infrastructure as far as the nuclear is concerned. So an important part as far as the energy requirement is concerned of India. Sakal? Mm, uh, yes, uh, but taking a cue from what Arun has said, Philip, if I'm, I may come to you, you've been uh, uh, 
talking about the Kundankulam uh, project uh, so far because we know the Unit 1 has been operation, operational. Uh, in terms of empowering countries' nuclear infrastructure, uh, Matthew, Philip Matthew, I'm asking you, in terms of empowering that sector, how big is this initiative going to be? We know that Prime Minister will be dedicating this uh, to the country today. And, of course, Chief Minister Jalalita will be also participating through video conferencing. Take us through that aspect. Well, uh, Sakal, I can, uh, I can tell you, I'm in fact standing in the auditorium of the Kudunglam nuclear power plant. As you can see behind me, arrangements are now in place uh, for the uh, te telecast of the video conferencing ceremony. Uh, as you can see, uh, last minute touches being given by senior officials here. Uh, monitors have been put in place uh, to convey signals from the Prime Minister's office as well as from uh, Chennai and Moscow. So uh, clearly, uh, the, uh, the officials are going through last minute trials to ensure that uh, the video conferencing uh, event goes off as smoothly as possible. Uh, as, and uh, as you as you mentioned, uh, this is going to be an important event as far as uh, Kudanglam is concerned because Kudanglam contributes the single highest output as far as any reactor is concerned in the country, mm. a thousand megawatts. So it's absolutely important as far as nuclear power cooperation is concerned because uh, don't uh, forget that nuclear energy has had a checkered history, not just in India but across the world. And it's very important for NPCIL to make a statement as far as the reliability of uh, nuclear energy is concerned and uh, that is something that uh, this uh, particular function will go a long way to address unit one has had its problems in the past but uh, off late it has settled down and uh, production has been uh, going smoothly uh, for the last few months so clearly uh, it, it's going to be a red letter day as far as NPCIL is concerned as far right. as the country's nuclear energy scenario is concerned and uh, all all eyes will be on the uh, on this video conferencing ceremony that is going to take place at 3 30 this afternoon afternoon right a big certainly a big way forward in terms of nuclear capabilities and energy requirements Arun la last question to you Arun if you could quickly take us through the event that is expected I'm talking about the video conferencing uh, well uh, Philip is I'm sure you must be listening to Philip also he's joining us from Kundan Kulam elaborate arrangements there to ensure that the uh, remote uh, video conferencing uh, happens glitch free what are the arrangements there in new delhi because prime minister will be dedicating this project to the nation through video conferencing very briefly arun uh, very briefly, Sakal, now uh, this uh, dedication uh, of this uh, Unit 1 would, would happen via video conferencing. Prime Minister Narendra Modi would be joining uh, uh, from the South Block in New Delhi, while well, uh, mm. Russian President Vladimir Putin would be joining from Russia, and uh, Jaya Lalita uh, uh, from the Kudankulam. So basic part is that the video uh, conferencing will happen and dedication of this uh, Kudankulam Unit 1 uh, will take place in the evening. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Arun Sharma, for joining us from South Block and Philip Mathew for joining us from Kundan Kulam. We will be getting back to you later in the day to elaborate more on this story. As for